Hey everybody, I, I, um, at the end of our meeting, I, I mentioned something and I realized that I, I probably needed to give you guys a little more detail. So I, I just want to show you really quick um, some of the tools I was, or at least how to find the tools I was talking about. So you log on to MyCI, go to CI Keys. So now I've activated my account. If you guys have not activated activated your MyCI, my CI, excuse me, your CI Keys account, um, you have to go through um, a routine just to sort of set it up the very first time. You have to get started and fill out some stuff. But once you do that and you have a, a dedicated web space, um, uh, you can have multiple web spaces. So I use um, my own domain names that I've purchased, uh, but but everybody gets their own free CI Keys address, which is created when you when you do get started. So you'll have your own unique domain name. But in any event, once, once you get logged on and once you get that settled, um, you just come up here and hit Dashboard. And uh, uh, mostly what you guys are going to be using, uh, are mo you know, 99% of people use WordPress. And so um, that's the uh, uh, tool you can install. And so the, the process is basically, basically you have a, a, a space on a server and then you install one of these programs. So most of us will install WordPress and then at that address you can create your website and do all that good stuff. Scalar was the tool I was mentioning on our on our chat where you can create sort of dynamic hyperlinked um, content, uh, textbooks and, and the like. Um, but if you click on my apps, you'll see all the app, oh, sorry. Uh, let's see, if I click on all applications, so, so sorry, my apps was were my websites. But anyway, so you, these are all different tools that you can install in your web space. So I don't even know what most of these are, but but there's there's things to do chats, there's things to do calendars, there's there's Wikipedia, you know, wiki uh, type tools. There's a ton of those, um, all these different things you can use. And so again, some of them are for programming, some of them are for data management, some of them are for communication, um, etc. So all these things are available to us uh, to organize, uh, you know, content and to deliver content. And these would all be located on that that domain name, that 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 web address that you created. So anyway, didn't, didn't want to take up too much time, but just wanted to point out to you guys. And so I guess I guess uh, at, at this point, if you guys are curious, if you click on one of these things, um, it it gives the information, and then you would go ahead and hit this thing and install it. Um, but uh, you know, obviously, at least th this you can you can get a sense of what it is, and you can use that to do some more research as to whether um, this or any of these tools would be useful to you. Anyway, uh, there you guys go. Have a good week. I'll talk to you guys soon.